Thank you. A mail sweepstakes fraud scheme is shut down. Scammers swindled more than $20 million from people across the nation and abroad. CBS 4's Joan Murray is live from downtown Miami with the details on this one. Joan? And Elliot, three of four defendants appeared in federal court this afternoon. That fourth is turning himself in. Federal prosecutors say they operated a massive lottery fraud and ripped off over 100,000 people here and abroad. From their lavish Maui wedding to an exotic trip exploring Kenya, Matt Pisoni and his wife Serena seem to have it all, complete with the recent addition of a baby girl. But federal prosecutors say it wasn't what it appeared to be, that Matt Pisoni helped operate a massive sweepstakes fraud. Pisoni and three others, Marcus Pradell, John Leon, and Victor Ramirez, were indicted on mail fraud and money laundering charges. According to the indictment, the four defendants falsely notified individuals by mail they had won a substantial prize and that they needed to pay the defendants a fee ranging from $20 to $50. Prosecutors say over 100,000 victims fell for the scam and that over the course of five years, the defendants collected over $25 million. Is this the Pisoni residence? No, it is no. not. Though a nurse denied it, property records in the doormat proof the Pasonis live in this Los Alas Isles home, where neighbors say the couple lived a low-key life, rarely mingling with anyone here. Because they just keep it to themselves, and they're very private, so, you know, but the lady's pretty nice. They say hello. Neighbors also say they are used to the spotlight. The Pasonis live on the same block, where disgraced lawyer and convicted Ponzi schemer Scott Rothstein owns several homes. Hi, Mrs. Pisani. Do you have anything to say about the allegations against your husband? Serena Pisani declined to make any comment going into federal court, where she sat through the federal hearing, barely making any eye contact with her shackled husband. She is the daughter of internationally renowned author and speaker, Dr. Wayne Dyer, who lectures on self-development and spiritual growth. According to his LinkedIn page, Matt Pisoni says he is director of PERT Test. He says he is owner and operator of telecom, internet, and direct marketing companies, and an investor owner in the trendy La Sola store, The Archives. And Pisoni's lawyer and the lawyer for the other defendants did not want to comment. He asked for a continuance, so their first appearance hearing will take place tomorrow in federal court. In Miami, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News. Joan, thank you.